Hi, I'm Ranger Charlie from Great Basin National Park. In these strange times, even rangers are staying home. So today we're here in my backyard with beautiful Doso Doyabi in the background on a beautiful sunny day. Now here at Great Basin National Park, we have a lot of activities that people partake in. But stargazing? Stargazing is one of our most popular. And the great news about stargazing is that stargazing you can even do from your own backyard. All you have to do is step outside and take a look up. In your backyard, on your front porch, or on your balcony. Take a look up and see what you can see. Can you see the Pleiades in the constellation Taurus? Can you see Orion's Belt? Or even the Orion Nebula? Now here at Great Basin National Park, we have some of the darkest night skies in the lower 48. We're able to see the Milky Way, distant galaxies like the Andromeda Galaxy, and then when you put a telescope on these objects, we're able to see even further and deeper into space to see things like the Whirlpool Galaxy and even further. Now, as you're outside, depending on where you are, if you're in Baltimore, Las Vegas, or Los Angeles, or other big cities, you may not be able to see as much in the night sky as people who are in places like Cheyenne, Wyoming, or here in Great Basin National Park. And the reason for that is in those big cities, we have something called light pollution. Light pollution is when extra light shines up into the atmosphere. And when it shines up into the atmosphere, it affects what we can see in our dark skies. The darker and more distant objects become washed out and overexposed. So when you're out stargazing, take a look around. See if there are any lights that you don't necessarily need. Because every light that is out that we don't need is affecting how we see the night sky. Ask yourself, do, do my lights need to be pointed up to the sky or is it better for them to be pointed down at the ground? That helps with light pollution. Is it better for my lights to be an orangey red color or a bright blue color? Our eyes work better with orangey red colors, so change your light bulbs to an orangey red color. Or if you can do it, just turn off the light. If you turn off the light, there's nothing affecting how we see the night sky. Here at Great Basin National Park, we're very cautious about the lights we use. We've changed all of our lights over to a red color or have pointed them down at the ground, making it so that we do not obscure the darkness of our night. So as you're out stargazing, take a look around. Let us know what you see. Let us know where you're from. And if you want to see more night images and video from Great Basin, check out the Astronomy Ranger Minute on our Facebook page.